Team Yumizumi's Vacation Part 3, A Bedtime Story for Children Today we have a book named Team Umizumi's Vacation Part 3, A Bedtime Story for Children. I think they're so pretty, I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. The sun was just coming up over the sea when I was up and awake on the terrace next morning. I've always wanted to see the sunrise in California. I was like seeing a laughing angel painting a picture. Gio opened the door. His hair was sticking up and combed in different places. Gio yawned. Good morning, sis. Millie, good morning, Gio. But... Good morning, you two. You're both up early. Millie, I just saw the most beautiful sunrise. Oh, what makes the sun rise every morning and set every night? Oh, simple. The earth is constantly moving. The sun is always in one place. So when our country, the U... Uh, is nearing the sunlight, that means it's morning. But when it's night, the earth is turning away from the sun, and then the moon comes out. Of course, the moon and stars are always in the sky during the day. We just can't see them because the sun makes it too bright to see. Geo, wow, that's incredible. Millie, it sure is. I never knew that stomach rumbles. All the talk about the sun makes me hungry. How about some breakfast? Geo, nah, let's go swimming. Millie, I can't swim on an empty stomach. But, well, before we do anything, we'll get breakfast. So we ordered our breakfast. Geo got eggs with cheese. Bot had waffles and turkey bacon. And I had three big pancakes smothered in pea bougie and syrup. My mouth was in paradise. Then after we ate, we walked to the pool and played a game of pirate, then Marco Polo. Geo, Marco. Millie, Polo. Millie, hey, fish out of water, you lose? Geo, ah, dang. Then we went fishing near a small pond with our pen pal Joey, who happened to be there doing a comedy show. Unfortunately, we were caught by the doorman. Apparently it's wrong to fish in the pond by the doorway. After seeing Joey's show, it was all pantomime, with some people talking. But Joey never spoke. We went back to our room and watched Look Who's Talking, and as Mikey helped his mom reunite with his pal James, I feel asleep in bed. So the next time you're thinking about taking a vacation, try Santa Monica, a gateway to your get away. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.